Whenever there is a cabinet reshuffle, the president has a chance to extend his influence and dispense patronage. Yet, in a country where the politics of reward is conducted through the lens of ethnic enclaves, the question of who is appointed a minister elicits rancor and euphoria in eco measure. Even with the largest cabinet, in comparison to its population size in the world, there's always a slight hand in the interest of placating ethnic, special interest demands and the opposition. These are over 40 persons living with disabilities in Bali. They are the latest to join a growing list of Ugandans agitating for cabinet positions following the appointment of a new cabinet early this month. As women, we are actually saying, of the three deputy prime ministers, who would like to have one? A political analyst attributes this type of clientele patronage politics to appointments not based on meritocracy. And for a long time people have been told you didn't give us the right people and therefore you are undermining your ability to benefit from the national case. So people are saying here we are, we have now voted correctly and rightly, so where are we? On the dining table. However, the senior press secretary to the president, Don Wanyama, disagrees. I don't think there's any dysfunction in the system. Actually, the, the fact that you have many more people asking for a role uh, in government and in the politics, I think for me it's just that we could, we could say the civic consciousness of the population is high and so people want to be involved. President Yoram Museveni has often said that the appointment of a large cabinet is predicated on service delivery and his quest to deliver Uganda to the lofty heights of middle-income status. With a high wage bill to pay ministers, a bloated cabinet, exponents of a lean cabinet say, affects fiscal discipline. We can also have a lean cabinet effectively represented with good technical people and they will deliver, provided the system is working, provided there are proper procedures to be followed provided there is accountability. During the cabinet swearing in ceremony on Tuesday, the president said for Uganda to become a middle income economy, ministers must aggressively look for investment and succeed in this area, there must be no delay in decision making. I would not tolerate anybody who delays to make a decision. Yet as he commences his new term to extend his legacy to thirty five years in power, the jury is out on whether this cabinet will deliver the country out of the economic rafts to the shores. Shiran Huchre, NTV.